Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about something that I kind of want to rant about, and that is just the sheer dogmatic stupidity that is required for people to start blaming grains and dairy for the health problems we have in the Western world. Uh, because it, the idea is so ludicrous that you really have to wonder how anyone gets sucked into it. Uh, and what I mean by that is you would have to be so profoundly ignorant of basic nutritional science and even epidemiology and even the correlational data to come to these conclusions. Um, and it's just absurd because you look at the obesity, the diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, everything else, and it's very obvious when you, again, look at basic nutrition, satiety, the way things affect insulin resistance, that it's all the garbage that we eat that causes these problems. Like, this should be common sense. It's supported by all the data also, but it should almost be common sense. Uh, because, you know, you look at what the most obese people eat, the people who have the highest cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and none of them are getting fat and diabetic because they're eating too much chicken and rice, right? Let's go back over to grains. That's even a refined grain, white rice. Not even associated with these diseases, right? There's not even correlational epidemiology to support that idea. Right? That's not what they're eating. Oh, they're not standing around. They're not drinking milk, eating yogurt. All right, we could argue maybe cheese, but we get to a point where dairy is getting very refined at that point. And, and again, I'll get to that in a second, too, of what we know based upon uh, the research on dairy. Now, that being said, what are these people eating? How about their double bacon cheeseburgers? All right. Nope. <laughs> Taco Bell, McDonald's, French fries, pizza, ice cream, cakes, pies, tons of soda. Right, this is this is what causes these problems, and it's not even when people say, "Oh, yeah, if the food's a little more refined." They know if you ate Grandma's peach cobbler every single day, and drink sweet tea and put butter on everything you eat you know, foods that we had a hundred years ago, you overeat all that stuff, you're going to have the same problems. In fact, they do. In fact, how many people will, will say that and they're like, well, the foods you eat on the farm, but then grandpa's already diabetic. Okay, you go back and look. How many, for those of us who are even older, like me, mid-40s, how many of our grandparents or people in their generation were already diabetic? When we were kids, tons of them. How did they get there? All the butter, fried foods, sweet tea, putting sugar in everything. Right, those combinations. That's that's how we get there. Right, what two foods cause diabetes? We already know. Large amounts of saturated fat and generally refined fructose. Fructose that reaches the liver. Okay, which would usually be table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, so on and so forth. And no, there's not even a difference between the two. People want to argue that one is less bad than the other in that regard. You're ignorant as hell if you do. I'm sorry, you are. <laughs> the difference is so marginal that it's insignificant. Like they're both not something you should be consuming in significant quantities. All right? This is what causes these diseases. All the garbage. You start looking at studies on dairy, milk's not even correlated. The meta-analysis shows milk's not even correlated with cancers. Okay. It's inversely correlated with some type of cancers. A mild correlation if large amounts of whole drink, milk were drank with one specific type of cancer would be prostate. But even then, it, it wasn't a large correlation, right? It's not a large correlation. It doesn't cause these things. The data doesn't support it. Where's the data? 
And if you cherry pick one study instead of looking at 50 studies comparing them, we got a problem. Same thing with grains. Really? Grains have been part of the diet forever. That's the problem with the Paleolithic diet, and this is why it's made fun of by real experts. I mean, the, the idea behind it's not bad. Oh, try to eat mostly natural foods. Okay, just keep in mind, you can talk about the Paleolithic era where the average lifespan was 35. Are we serious? I mean, and if it cuts out all the junk food, fine, but to say that grains are a junk food? Well, paleo or, or that paleo man didn't eat grains again make believe every time we find fossil records from the paleolithic era we find grains in their gi tract every single time they ate grains we're like well they didn't eat as many do you think eating grains is what's making people fat i mean not as many yeah you know what else they didn't eat piles of butter and, and table sugar They didn't have any of that. They had zero. Zero. They still ate grains, and they probably ate close to as many grains as we still eat. Because the grains are not comprising that big of a calorie difference. Like, they're not comprising that big of our actual total calorie percentage in the Western world. It's not as high as people think. Like, well, this food is, is high calorie, and it has grains in it. Right. It's because you've created this amalgamation that you're calling food that has some grains in it. All right, you take your, your bacon cheeseburger. Like, how many of the calories in that thing do you think are really coming from grains? 10%, 15%, maybe 20 Again, you see the issue here? People say, well, it's... it's <laughs> The refined carbohydrates in this cake and pie. Well, yeah, the, the refined sugar, sure. But you're combining it also with large amounts of oils and shortening and butter and fat. Like when you look at those foods, they're actually really, really high fat foods. They're really high fat foods. Oftentimes, 50% or more of their calories are coming from fat. And then people want to blame the grains in it, and, you know, and again, and all the refined sugar would be the second highest calorie source in some of those foods. And people are like, oh, it's the grains. My God. And, and I mean that, like, literally, how MF and stupid do you have to be to believe that? Like, how stupid does someone have to be to actually believe that and to promote it, come on the Internet and promote it? They can't do basic math. They can't read any epidemiology. They can't read studies. Like, can they even read at all? I have to wonder. I have to ask that question. How do they type? All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.